Show me what you got. got, got, got. <laughs> How's it going guys and geeks? Welcome back to the Geek Critique Show. My name is Dakota and today we're going to be going into Jessica Jones Season 2. Where does it fit on the chronological timeline for the Marvel Cinematic Universe? If you've been following our channel, you've probably already seen our version 4 video for the Marvel Cinematic Universe chronological timeline. We map out all the movies, the shows, the one-shots, and everything, really, and put it all on a timeline so you guys can watch it in chronological order without breaking up any of the films or TV shows or anything like that. But because of Jessica Jones' placement in Season 2, which it very firmly fits itself in the timeline, it almost seems as though some of the other items may be wrongly placed on the timeline. And I'll explain it a little bit. But there are a few hints at where exactly this fits into the chronological timeline. First and foremost, Jessica says that this is summer. And that's corroborated by the fact that the kids are very hot when they're playing outside. They're, they're trying to uh, open a fire hydrant up and Jessica helps them out. Now the hottest month in New York City is July, which I'm expecting that episode to particularly take place in. But June, July, and August are the hot season. It's the summer season of New York City, so that's 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 okay but which summer is it is it 2018 is it 2017 2016 well we know that several times throughout the series jessica also makes mention that 17 years ago she got into a car crash she lost her family and all of these things happened to her because of that now when was the car crash when did she lose her family supposedly well we know from canon that it is april 2000 so 17 years after april 2000 would be around april 2017 now we know it's summer, so several months after the fact, and uh, we can probably place Jessica Jones season two between June through August of 2017. Now some of the actors on the show have actually mentioned that this takes place about six months after The Defenders, which kind of doesn't really fit with what we have going on in the timeline now, which means some of the Netflix series may actually be taking place in 2016, late 2016. Now, if you're wondering if this is going to ruin your viewing experience if you're using our version 4 timeline video, not really, because the Netflix series don't really ever touch on any of the films or other TV shows besides that little universe that they've created on Netflix. Now, Jessica Jones Season 2 has some really big connections to the overall MCU, which is hugely refreshing for me because... That helps me gauge where exactly this is in the timeline, what the characters know of what happens in the in the films and stuff. In episode three, Vito, the landlord's son, actually asks Jessica if she has uh, met Captain America, if she knows Captain America. Do you know Captain America? I've got his action figure, but I lost the shield. That's huge because, A, they're naming the characters. In previous seasons, they've said, oh, the big green guy or the guy with the hammer, the guy with the shield. Now they're actually naming the Avengers, which seems to be bridging the gap between Marvel TV and Marvel Studios. We know that there's been bad blood for a few years, but it looks as though that gap is being bridged, finally. Vito even goes on to say that Captain America lost his shield, and he's talking about his toy, but we do get the meta reference that in Civil War, which was the last time we had seen Captain America, he lost his shield. Now we know that he's getting a new one in Infinity War, uh, Wakandan made. We don't know if it's vibranium, but most likely it will be. So we're very excited to see what th his new shield is going to be capable of. But that's really cool that they're even suggesting that potentially they know that Captain America has his shield removed from him by the end of Civil War. Now, a much larger connection to the overall MCU is the connection to the Raft, which is the prison that Jessica Jones talks about where they keep superpowered individuals. There's a special prison built for people with abilities. It's called the Raft. Yeah. I read about it. We've only seen a few individuals in the actual prison cell, The Raft, but the fact that they brought it up so many times throughout Jessica Jones Season 2, I feel like they brought it up seven or eight times, really is telling because they're not shying away from the events of the films. The Raft, if you remember, is the submerged prison that uh, Captain America had to break his friends out of at the end of Civil War. That's really cool that they're connecting all that. And just to tell you how big of a deal just that one little reference is, they tried to use the term The Raft in Deadpool, but they had to remove the line from the final film because it broke copyright. Uh, obviously, yes, Disney owns Marvel TV as well as Marvel Studios, but generally speaking, whenever something is attached to a Marvel Studios film, they don't even want Marvel TV discussing it uh, because the bad blood between uh, Ike Perlmutter and Kevin Feige. But this is really great. This is really awesome that they're finally... 
I, I guess, taking charge of the fact that they are in the MCU. Uh, we know in previous seasons, like Daredevil Season 1 and Jessica Jones Season 1, that yes, they live in a New York post uh, the Battle of New York, which uh, kind of sets the scene for all the gang violence and the, the slums that they have to go through in the Hell's Kitchen and stuff like that. That's really exciting, the fact that they're finally going back to that and actually giving us more details. This also kind of touches upon the fact that a lot of people have been asking me whether the Defenders will ever have to sign the Sokovia Accords. Ultimately, I don't know, but I, I suggested that I don't think so. Because the Sokovia Accords were only a threat really to the international heroes, like Captain America and Iron Man and all them who go to different countries to fight their own battles. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, they're not maybe Iron Fist, but the rest of them don't really go anywhere besides New York. So no, I don't think that they're going to be signing any Sokovia Accords. The fact that they didn't mention the Sokovia Accords in Luke Cage, Iron Fist, or Defenders kind of gave way to the idea that this either takes place before Civil War because they didn't have to sign them, or they're not connected. Well, this kind of breaches both of those things because the, the world was introduced to the Raft at the end of Civil War, and they didn't have to sign the Sokovia Accords as, as far as we've seen. So that should pretty much close that argument out. But if you guys have any questions about the timeline, if you guys have any questions about when we're going to be seeing version 5 or whatever, uh, or anything Marvel related, if you have any questions that you think I could potentially answer, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already checked out our MCU chronological timeline, we do recommend it. The best guesstimation of how correct it actually is is about 95% because we're not entirely sure where we're going to be pushing certain Netflix series down the line. So we'll see. We'll let you guys know very soon. And thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye, guys. Have a good one.